Now we're going to measure the pressure and volume relationship with an improvised unit that we're going to call books. So I have this small syringe. The units on it are cc's or cubic centimeters, also known as a milliliter. So we're going to take this syringe and we're going to uh, put it up close to the top here and set it. So you can see that measurement there. And now we're going to put this into the small end of the larger block. Put the cap on it right there. So that's one book. Here's two books. And three books. Four books. Oh, looks like the cat popped off. So now we're going to look at the relationship of pressure and volume. So I have this syringe and I'm going to put the pocket lab inside of the syringe. And we'll put this right about in the middle here. And then we'll cap the syringe. I'm going to push down on the syringe. These units, by the way, are cc. That means cubic centimeters or milliliters. All right, and let's try pulling up. And back to neutral. So now we're gonna take this pressure gauge with this bulb on the bottom, and we're gonna put this into ice water, boiling water, and dry ice. So we'll be able to record the pressure and the temperature. Feel like a rock star today? Get to play with some dry ice. So this is car solid carbon dioxide. So it's super duper duper cold. You don't want to touch this with your hands. In fact, it's too cold to put this into water. So I'm gonna to have to put this into some uh, ethanol Alright, so now we're going to try out the dry ice. Vaporizing. So this is carbon dioxide that's vaporizing on the table. It's actually going through sublimation, so it's subliming. It's going straight from solid state to the gas state. Still negative 38 degrees Celsius. So it looks like that's about as cold as we're going to get this alcohol.
So it looks like we have a constant temperature of 3.10 degrees Celsius. Temperature is holding steady at 100.90. degrees Celsius. So we have one of these pocket labs here, and we're going to put that in a canister, seal it up in this canister so it should be, in theory, airtight. And we're going to put this into ice water and see what changes as the temperature decreases in the ice water bath. So we're putting the pocket lab here into the canister. Sealed this with some Teflon tape. I'm going to tighten this down nice and tight. Set this here into the ice water bath. And we'll let it sit. So now we're going to take our pocket lab here and we are going to put this into an oven inside of our containers, this thing here. We're going to put this in the container. We're going to seal this up so that it should be airtight and see what kind of data we get. We have the pocket lab set to record both the pressure and the temperature.